so now we're really beginning, now we're really getting started on this whole practice, right? So we're just going to meditate for 20 minutes and I'm going to guide us in a, a practice that helps us move a little bit from that world outside to this place here and our practice here. I also want to invite you, if you're not comfortable sitting on the floor, you're very welcome to sit at the back of the room or to use a chair. The most important thing is that you're comfortable and that you can get a little bit of peace in your, your meditation. So don't feel like you have to perform the great meditator in full lotus or anything like that. Good. So let's take a comfortable posture, something that works for you. And you can close your eyes. And so we begin by letting go. We let go, let go of the world outside. All of our busyness and activities. We let go of the week that was. We let go of the morning. We let go of everything that's come before. We let go of the past. In this way, we have some freedom from the past so that we can be here, now, so that we can be present. We let go of the future, planning, thinking, worrying. The future is uncertain. Let's have freedom from the future by letting go. And by letting go of the past, letting
letting go of the future, we can be here. We can be now present and aware. And so draw your awareness to what's going on right here, right now. We leave the world beyond this room, outside. We let it go. We become aware of this place here and now. the sounds of the room, the air conditioner, the quality of light, the temperature, We're aware of the others here with us. You draw your mindfulness to this body sitting here now, as it is now. You become aware of your posture. How are you sitting? Are you comfortable? Are you at ease? How does your body feel now? And how are you feeling now? How's your mind? Is there something you're still holding on to? So this is how we are now, this body, this mind. Let's see if we can increase the peace and comfort of this body, increase the happiness of this mind. And we do this by letting go. So, checking in again with this body. This 
So some tightness or tension stored in this body. How does that feel? Can you let it go? And so we start relaxing. Allow your forehead to become smooth. We're not worrying. We're relaxing. Our eyes aren't doing anything. They can just rest. Allow your face to soften. Unclench your jaw. Allow a little smile on your face because it feels good to relax. It feels good to let go. So you draw the relaxation down the throat and neck, releasing any tension or tightness. Feeling the shoulders relax. Letting go of any tension in the upper arms, relaxing the elbows, the forearms, releasing any tightness in the hands, allowing all that tension to drain away through the fingers. And now you come to the back of your body. Feel the back of the neck, shoulder blades. Can you let go of any tightness there so that you can relax the muscles, and soften the spine? Coming to the middle back, relaxing, softening. And the lower back, relaxing, softening. all the way down to your tailbone, the whole back relaxed.
And coming now to the front of the body, feeling the collarbones, the rib cage, opening up as you relax more, all the muscles, the chest, releasing, even the heart, the lungs, soften. Draw the relaxation to the abdomen, releasing deep inside all of those internal organs, relaxing. And here we watch the gentle rising and falling of the abdomen, the chest, each breath coming in, each breath going out, every breath soothing, calming, Drawing the relaxation down through the hips, letting go of any tightness in your buttocks, feeling the thighs relax, the knees soften, the shins and calves releasing, letting go of tightness in the ankles, softening the feet, all that tension you've been holding on to, draining away through the toes. Mm. Feels good to relax. And can you see that previously this body was so tight, so tense? From holding on. But now, by letting go, There is more comfort, more ease.
when the body is relaxed. the mind naturally, all by itself, becomes more calm and peaceful. And it feels good. We relax the mind just as we relax the body by letting go, not holding on, releasing thoughts, distractions, letting them go. And when the body is relaxed, when you're calm and peaceful, the breath naturally appears all by itself. You see it. You're aware. Ah, I'm breathing in. Breathing out. It's so easy to see the breath. You're mindful. You're aware of each breath coming in each breath going out, every breath. And so keep watching this breath or keep relaxing your body, relaxing your mind. for the next few minutes, calm, quiet, aware, mindful.
And so as we come towards the end of this short session, still with your eyes closed, let's take a few moments to review. What just happened? Remembering back to the beginning, how are you feeling then? And how are you feeling now? What's changed? Why has it changed? Were you able to let go of the past, let go of the future? Or was that difficult? Were you able to relax the body? How did that feel? Were you able to let go of thoughts and problems, planning and worrying? Can you see what happens when we're holding on and what happens when we let go? Can you see that holding on is suffering and letting go is freedom? So in this way, by reviewing, we start to understand the process of meditation. We understand what leads towards suffering and what leads towards happiness and freedom. So now you can relax your awareness, coming back to the room, surrounded here by good friends. Arising from the meditation, and when you're ready, gently opening your eyes. Okay, so that's our first session of meditation. So hopefully you feel a bit more like you've arrived. Yeah? So I wonder how that was for you. Shall we find out? So before... Thank you. 
Thank you so much. Was there a difference between this positive spin from the meditation marketing team and your meditation just now? How was your meditation just now? Is there one word, one word only, that describes your meditation. So if before this was the, like, I guess it's like the ideal meditation, I guess this one would be like the grim reality. How was your meditation? Should we go around? Should we have one word, just one word, and again, the same rule applies. If someone else steals your word, then we have to come up with another one. Who wants to start? You can just yell it out. Yes, sir. Sleepy. Sleepy. Okay. So not much clarity going on, perhaps. Not much uh, awareness, right? So sleepy. Yeah. Who's next? Here and there. Nice, I'll give it. It's hyphenated. Here and there. Yes? Distracted. Distracted. Right. Okay, who's next? Pins and, Pins and needles. Again, I'll give it because it's hyphenated. Pins and needles. Anyone else? Everywhere. everywhere. Wow, you weren't even here and there. You were everywhere. <laughs> 4G. Foggy. That's a very poetic description for meditation. Anyone else? Wandering. Shall we just go wandering? Yeah, wondering. Okay, who else? You had peace. Oh, well, very good. Maybe you have to tell us why. Yes, Lily. Joy, joy. you had some joy. Okay, so that's nice. We've got some people who had. Anyone else? So, probably. Most of us might have experienced some of this stuff on this side, right? And maybe a little bit of stuff on this side. Is that right? Yeah? So, part of our role as meditators is to develop some wisdom to understand why these things happen to us what leads to these things, where these things come from, and develop a skill, develop wisdom, skillful means, knowledge, and to transform from this 
sleepy, distracted, painful, foggy, wandering mind to this mind of clarity and wisdom, joy and peace, all those sorts of things. And the reason why we, we want to do that is because we want to come out of our suffering. Yeah? Life is, is so painful, there's so much suffering in our life already. And when the, the Buddha described the meditation path, he talked about the importance of developing a mind of joy. And so joy, gladness, pamoja, this is the beginning of a sequence of positive mental states that arise in the mind which are beautiful, which are so profound and amazing, and which lead to deep meditation, to stillness, to samadhi. And that samadhi leads to wisdom. But the joy, the joy is so important to develop in our practice. You'll hear great teachers like Ajahn Brahm saying, the most important thing you can do is to get the joy up in your meditation because this is what kickstarts that whole process that leads to successively more beautiful and more blissful states of mind which draws the mind away from the world outside deeper and deeper internally through a process of pleasurable mental experience that draws that mind deeper and deeper into stillness and clarity and power. And that's samadhi. And from this deep meditation, we can develop insight and wisdom we can see clearly into the nature of our reality. So this is what we're going to be exploring over the next three days. We're going to be exploring the process of meditation. And this process isn't something that starts here and now on this cushion. This process is something that happens before we even come to sit down. And so I'm going to be looking at that mundane, ordinary life outside and how we utilize our normal everyday life as part of our spiritual practice and part of our meditation practice so that we don't make the mistake of thinking that meditation is going to transform our life when we only meditate, what, 15 minutes a day, a week, a month? <laughs> we can't expect 15 minutes to radically change our life. Of course, it will help. But where we need to do most of that work is off the cushion in our daily life. So I'm going to be exploring the link between our daily life and our meditation practice, and how we can bring joy into our daily life, bring that joy into our meditation practice, which will lead to bliss, wisdom, knowledge, and to being a happier, better person. So we're going to explore this in the next three days, uh, but we've been sitting for a while, why don't you have a 10 minute break and then we'll come back and we'll do some more meditation. So the bathrooms, I just threw that door to the right. Um, there's also bathrooms downstairs if they're busy. So come back in 10 minutes, which I think is maybe like five past 11 or so. Yeah, please come back promptly because we've only got a short time before we go to lunch.